Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. In today's video, we are going to make these floating pearl centerpieces, perfect for any wedding or event. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you're gonna need is your magic pearls. You'll need your water beads, some water, of course, and a bowl to put them in. Now, I got these on Amazon, so when you get them, you'll get three size pearls in the pack. And if my scissors will work, I will open the pack and show you guys. Okay, there we go. So you got some big pearls smaller pearls and then medium pearls so I opted to go with ivory for this client's wedding because she's very indecisive on her color so now what you want to do is you want to take your water beads and for the purpose of this video I'm just going to pour a little beads in the bow here that's enough I just want to make enough beads to fill three of these vases which I'm going to be doing um, the small medium and large vases but that's going to be in the next part of the video so here are the beads in the bow and I'm just going to pour my water into the bowl. Now, it doesn't really say how much water to pour in or how much water to use. I'm gonna add some more beads in there. But I'm not trying to use the whole packet because this is just for the video. I do know that the water needs to absorb the beads or the beads need to absorb the water so um i'm just going to pour that in there for now and let the beads sit now the beads need to sit for at least eight hours to soak up all of the water in the bowl so i'm going to pause the video and i will be back when the beads have absorbed the water okay so i just came back in the kitchen to check on the balls just to see um where we were and i mean they've already gotten pretty big already but um if you can see the water on my hands they haven't absorbed all the water i think um i'm gonna add some more water in here just to uh and i might put them in a bigger bowl um like i said i'm just doing this for the demonstration of this video but for the actual wedding, I do have a really big bowl that I'm going to be putting them in. So I'm just going to add um, some more water. And I'll come back in a couple hours and check on them again. If I do see that they need more water or they're not growing or something, I don't know. But I'll put it in a bigger bowl if needed. But um, that's it for now. Stay tuned. Okay, so I just want to quickly point out, I had to change the bowl to a bigger bowl. I came back um, just to get something to eat. And I noticed the small little black bowl, um, the beads were kind of sitting like this above the water because the bowl was too small to hold the amount of beads. So you're going to need a big bowl when you um, do this with your beads. So I got a bigger bowl and then I also um, added more water to the bowl. But as you can see, the beads are, they're getting bigger and they are really absorbing the water. So I'm going to stop being impatient and let it do its thing. All right, so I let these water beads sit all day in the water i put them in a bigger bowl 
and as you can see they are filled with water and they're actually pretty big so what we are going to do now is take our vases and fill them up with the water beads as well as the pearls now I got these vases on uh, yummycandles.com and the vases actually come with the candles here so these are three inch floating candles and I will leave a description or I will leave the link in the description below all right so what we're going to do is just take some of the water beads and fill up the vase all right and then we are going to start putting in some of the pearls now there's not really a right way or a wrong way when it comes to the size of the pearls that you add in but you just want to do like a layering effect so put in some beads and then drop in some more pearls okay so as you can see i put this one down here i didn't fill it all the way up and then this one i only brought up here because i want them to be at different heights so i'll probably add a little bit more beads in here and pearls in this one and then for my smallest one i'll make it the lowest one Okay, so now I have added all of my pearls and my beads into all of my vases and I have them in three different heights from smallest vase, smallest level, medium vase, medium level, uh, tallest vase, highest level. So now when you have your desired um, height that you want to do, you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because you're going to put water in it and you're going to put your candle on top. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top, but once you reach your desired height, you're going to take some water and you're going to pour it in the vase. And your beads will disappear. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more water to this one. Well. No, once I put, I can kind of see the beads on top here, but once I add the candle in there, it's gonna be fine. But as you can see, it's just the beads or the pearls actually floating inside of the vase. So now I'm gonna add my candles. These are three inch floating candles from Yummy Candles, and you're just going to hold it by the wick and just set it gently inside the vase. All right, that is it for this video. I will leave a link in the description box for the candles, the vases, and the pearl and bead set that I purchased from Amazon. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the video and to the channel. Stay blessed.